So first what we want to do, of course, is take off the bottom mounts of the stock mount that comes on your ATN x 2 Smart HD or your Thor HD Thermal. Let's put that aside. Nice and tight. Look at that pop. That's because I tightened these before, right when I got my scope. All right, both of those screws are the same size. And this is the first time I'm doing this with you guys. So that's what the mount that comes with it looks like. And as you see, the holes line up perfectly with the new, with the ARMS 17 quick detach mount. Now, because they line up perfectly, you can set this either way. So if you want it to, to where the latch is on the left-hand side, or where the latch is on the right hand side of the weapon however you want to do it uh, I am probably going to put it to where the latch is on the right hand side of the weapon we'll see how it get in the way so if I have it here I know it won't get in the way of my IR light because sometimes I mount my IR light here but just so it's not too much going on on one side I'm going to switch it and turn it around back in see if the stock screws will fit using this some people say they have some people say they don't if not we're going to go to Home Depot and we're going to show you the right ones to get but we're going to find out right here oh okay so the stock screws with your x site it bottoms out so these screws are too long So the stock screws that come with your x site will not work. So we're going to take a short trip. We're going to show you the right screws to get. And with that, we will actually buy a bunch of those screws because the ARMS 17 mount that we are going to sell here now uh, on our website, we will include the right screws with them so you guys don't even have to worry about doing any kind of modifications so bear with me i'll go to home depot and we'll be right back Fine, it fits. Let's see about metric. And metric, it fits M5.8. So let's go find 1032 fine. That would probably be the easiest to find. Alright, so here's the metric. that we got from Home Depot. 96 cents. 96 cents for a three pack. All right. Yeah, let's go put them on the scope. Get it on the rifle. And bye bye. The wife says. So, happy life, happy life. Yep. 
All right, and we are back. And once again, here is the package. We got the M5 by 12 millimeters in length, flat HD Phillips zinc plated uh, screw to go in here. And remember, it did also fit the 10 uh, by 32, which was the fine number 10 of the standard. This is the metric. Um, before I get too ahead of myself, let's double check. Make sure it fits right in. Yep, perfect fit, nice and smooth, no issues. All right, so, and the good thing too is that it's uh, Phillips head, so you don't have to worry about it. You just need your Phillips head screwdriver. Nice and snug, nice and flat fit, nice and flat here. So when it goes on your rail, you're not going to have any kind of protrusion. So you want to make sure you get the same angled head as what came on the original mount screw because that goes flush down in that hole, nice and perfect. So let's go ahead and put the other one in. Alright, and we are set to put it on our scope, and that's not going to come off. And that is how you put on your ARMS number 17 quick detach mount. Alright everybody, so I'm here in my hotel room. I went ahead and put on the scope, and earlier in the video I talked about how I want to put on this side to get it away from in case I put the mount. What I did not think of is my forward release. Now, trying to get down in here and get this out. I mean, it's supposed to be a really tight fit, but my forward release is in the way and it makes it more difficult. So I'm actually gonna change that to the other side. All right, so I went ahead and switched. So I went ahead and switched sides. And as you can see here, it's no longer in the way of the forward release. I. So one thing I did do though, is I put it on one, two, three notches up. When before with the X, with the other mount, I had it on two notches back on the second notch. The only reason why I did that is because this one right here, right here sticks out just a little bit. And just for me, to, to get to the charging handle, I wanted a little bit more room. So I just put it up one more notch. But always keep a note, if you're going to be using it for its purpose of taking it off and on your rifle, you want to remember which notch you put it on. So the one, two, third space down is where I put it on this scope. So every time after I zeroed in, that's exactly where I'm going to put it every time. And this quick detach mount right here will keep it. So it, it when you tighten it down all the way, it's the same tightness each time. So you're going to be the same zero every time you put it on your rifle. So that is the ARMS 17 Quick Detach on the ATN Excite 2, also the ATN Thor HD.